Alrighty, well, good morning, everybody, and time once again for my pseudo cast. Actually, this is my second attempt. Um, but let me let me go ahead and get the music going first before um before I get too involved with it, in, involved with this, and it's a fair amount to talk about, but it's gonna center around a general theme. But once again, let me get the music going first. This is just the first thing that came up on my YouTube recommendations. Uh, Fen Walker. Uh. Hail O'Barrel Lands. I haven't heard this one. So, first, let me start by turning it down. Okay, but otherwise, um, um, I don't, but like I said, this is my, uh, this is my second attempt at a pseudo cast. Um, Starting around midnight, my uh, my internet went out. Um, they were doing planned maintenance, even though I think I've uh, I think I've actually looked, but I wish they would have sent me an email saying that they were gonna that they're gonna do this. Cause whenever my internet goes kaput, I'll usually call my ISP Charter, my internet carrier. Um, but yeah, I'll call up Charter, and um, I'll get the we are performing planned maintenance. Our maintenance technicians are working hard to make sure you get your service back, or you know, st you know, the the whole the whole kind of hard working thing, which I found kind of amusing. I mean, for all I know, they're probably they're probably like eating at a restaurant or something, or maybe they're you know maybe they're maybe they're banging hookers or something, or doing some blow and partying down and all that stuff, and then they decide to go ahead and turn the inter internet back on. Probably for all I know, when they're doing maintenance, they're probably just doing a virus scan or something. You know, or defragmenting the hard drive, or whatever whatever the whatever the internet company equivalent would be of just doing low impact doing low impact maintenance type work where all you have to do is just turn the, you know, Turn it, you know, turn it on, let it run its course, and then, and then when it's done, you know, flip it off and turn the internet back on. So, but anyway, I mean, it's but anyway, like I was like I was saying a few moments ago, I wish they would send me an email about this, because, because you know, I again, I call them, you know, I call them up, or I call them up, and they said they're doing planned maintenance. So I mean. If the if the stuff is planned, then I really wish they would actually would actually warn me beforehand, you know, that I can like start download, you know, start opening up a whole bunch of web pages, um, or you know, like to start downloading videos and whatnot, you know, start downloading movies and whatnot, you know, stuff that I've never seen before that I want to watch. But anyway, like I was like I was also saying, this is my second attempt at a pseudo cast. I my first one. I was making while the internet was out, and I was using um, I was just basically uh, I was basically in the middle of playing. I was, I was using a cinematic camera to show off my city that I was making on city skylines. Um, problem is, is the the file size was like three and a half gigabytes long. It was a huge sucker that would have taken literally all morning just to upload to like YouTube or Twitch. So. I don't have time for that, so I ended up deleting that and then doing this one. But, <coughs> but yeah, it pretty pretty damn bad though. My whole life's tied up in internet. You know, my whole life's pretty much centered around it now, and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that's like that. Like a lot of other people out there also rely heavily on internet. You know, I mean, and um, I was, and I can, and I have, or I should say, I can, and I was, you know, you know, watching like old Joe Rogan podcasts that I downloaded like some odd years ago. But the problem is, is it's all old news. I've seen it before. So I mean, it's like, it's like trying to eat, trying to eat a bag of stale chips. I mean, I might be filling, but it ain't very, can't taste, you know, ain't gonna taste very good. 
you know, so same thing here. But, um, but, uh, you know, I almost wish that, uh, I almost wish I had this, uh, I had that video here right now, because I really did, I really actually did kind of like showing off my city. You know, showing all the, um, uh, I think, um, Oh, what's his name? I think Chuck Marone, the creator of the uh, non-profit company, Strong Towns. I think he'd probably like it. Um, walkability is a big thing. I mean, in my city, there's lots of... Uh, and it isn't just nothing but roads and sidewalks. There's, like, lots of us. There's lots of... Uh, uh, oh, what's the word for? Or what's the word? There's lots of walking paths. Like, weaving in and out of the buildings and stuff. So, it's a very walkable city. At least until you get to like the industrial area where, where it's like no, it's like all trucks. I think that's that's probably one of the big drawbacks to this game. Like um, like in most other SimCity games, um, industry, the uh, industry, uh, the industry buildings that you create are just there. They're just there to provide jobs for your citizens. But uh, in this in this game here though, um, your uh, the your industry and your industry and your commerce will also produce goods that can that can be exported to other places. Uh, but the problem is is uh, especially with industry, it uh, it spawns a lot of semi trucks. Like they don't have uh, they don't have. No wait, yeah they yeah they do yeah they do they all. But it, they have like all kinds of different. Uh, they have semi trucks. They have box trucks. But um, they have like a metric ton of them, and it really clogs up my streets. I think, and I think um, the YouTube channel do not eat. I me I've mentioned his name from time to time, um, but I think he was saying the same thing too. It's like all freight in this game is done is is trucked. Is all is all done by trucks. Like, there's no, um, I think, uh, you can, you can use a, you can use a train system, but, um, but you think even the trains, even if you set up a train route, all the cargo in it, it just, it just gets picked up by more trucks. And further clog, you know, clogging up your streets further, so... Still got my cough. It was all but gone a few days ago, but starting to make a comeback. But on the downside, I can't call in anymore because I call in one more time, I lose my job. Uh, that was uh, that was the warning given to me by my manager. But I don't, I don't really want to talk about it again. I've already talked about it for the past few days, so I'll just leave it at that. Oh yeah, that's something else about the there's something else about that game too. Um when people die, you can build cemeteries, you can build graveyards to put you know to put the dead people in. And it, when it fills up, there's actually an option to empty it out. Like uh, into another into another cemetery or an, or if you have one, in a, into a into a, a crematorium. Like, it's where you incinerate dead bodies. Like, yeah, there's that option. I mean, that, I mean that's kind of messed up. You know, like, even for me. I mean, you know, you lived a full productive life, and so, you you know, I mean, you're dead. I mean, that always sucks. So, you know, you know they bury you on the ground, but then they turn around and... and they turn around and they can, they can uproot you, and they can transfer you here over to this other... To this other cemetery that they built, that's empty. It's it's what it's um it's it's what you could do with landfills in that game. Like like, that's another game concept that I don't recall seeing in any other. 
in any other Sim City? Garbage. Like all of your citizens produce it. And uh, you have to, you have to build. You you start out. You start you start off with landfills. But eventually, uh, when your population gets high enough, you'll be able to make uh, incinerators, like garbage incinerators. Well, they're basically. Uh, They're basically uh, waste to energy plants, but yeah, you, what you can uh, what you can do, what you can do though, when your landfills are completely filled up and what you start building incinerators, you can just start having um, you can start having trucks moving them, um, emptying out the landfills, and into the incinerators. The same, pretty much the same thing you can do with uh, you can do in cemeteries. Like, like, I, like I said, I mean, that that's a little fucked up, uh, even for me. I mean, if you're dead and buried, I'd, I'd you know, I'd kind of like you to stay there and not just, you know, dig you up and, like, put you over, you know, transfer you over here to this other, this other graveyard or, God forbid, a landfill. Luckily, luckily in my twisted mentality, I actually, I actually did this. Um, I have a, in my city... One of my cemeteries was full to compa was uh, completely full. I actually wanted to see that it, see if you could uh, empty this uh, graveyard in a landfill. <laughs> you know, or you could you could rename buildings in this game. You know, maybe rename one of maybe rename one of the landfills, mass grave, and just start bringing all the dead body dumping all the dead bodies in this in this uh, landfill slash mass grave but no no you can't do it so I guess it's, so I guess the game devs have at least some respect for the dead <laughs> that, would be, that would be some crazy shit though <laughs> well, gra well grandpa's dead so we're, we're gonna have the funeral at the local landfill since that's where he's gonna end up anyway cause we could bury him in a graveyard, but no, graveyards are gonna get full, and he's gonna get tossed in the landfill anyway. So, might as well cut out the middle, man. So, but like I like I said, luckily, luckily you can't do that in this game. Man, if you could though, man, those game devs would be some creepy fucks. That would have that could have been that could have been an interesting building to have in that game, um, science lab, like um, like if you die, like if you die, you donate your body to science. So instead of uh, being buried in a graveyard, you're you're just gonna get sent over here to this uh, science lab where they're gonna they're gonna work on your cadaver. So, in case anyone hasn't noticed, yeah, I am really into city skylines right now. Um, just like I was with all the other SimCity games, they're, 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 I mean, I, they're not a, I, what, I don't, I wouldn't say that they're my all-time favorite genre, but, um, they're a one, they're one type of game where once I start playing them, I play the shit out of them. But, um, just like everything else in life, I have, it. I have my phases. I'll play the sh I'll play the living hell out of these uh, city building games, but just like every other game, eventually I'll get tired of them and then and then quit and then go off to something else. But once I play them, though, I'm really super into them. So. This music here is kind of on the border, as far as uh, as far as dungeon sims goes. This is like one of the sounds like one of the more one of the more modern sounding sims. Not like the, not like the stuff that you've heard like in the like in the nineties like Super Nintendo type stuff like sixteen bit music. Because what I what I think dungeon sent, I'm thinking you know, just just like I said, like eight and sixteen bit music. This in here sounds more like twenty four or thirty two. Like I said, it sounds a little bit on the modern side. 
but but like I said, this is just the first thing that came up on my YouTube recommendations. And as the one who is trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to do a makeup cast here. You know, I still got to get this thing uploaded and all that. So I had, I was, I kind of had to go. I kind of had to take what YouTube gave me. So. <coughs> Okay, but, um, but, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and call it good. So, I, I didn't really prepare much. Like I said, I didn't really do a whole lot. I had no internet, so I didn't see much of a point in, uh, I didn't really see much of a point in, uh, writing anything down. Like, writing, jotting down some notes, because not a whole lot happened. Just playing City Skylines and, uh, watching some old Joe Rogan podcasts. So I'll just go ahead and cut it off here. Um, but thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And um, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning, which will be my last one for the week. So, but until then, thanks again for dropping by, everybody, and see you all next time. Farewell for now.